world to do what you want. So there are many habits that you have to use. So let's start off with habit one. Habit one is be proactive. Being proactive means is like when you or somebody else is in charge of themselves. When nobody is looking. For example, if somebody throws trash on the ground and nobody picked it up, what can you do to put the trash back in the can? You can pick it up and throw it away for that person who didn't throw it. And that's called habit one. Next is habit two. Habit two is begin with the end in mind. Begin with the end in mind is like to have a plan. So if you have like an adventure you want to plan, but you don't know where to start and like you don't really know where to go and run on the adventure, you can use habit two and plan before you do anything. Like preparing for a test. If you have a homework, you have to prepare and plan how to do that. You could study harder and ask your parents to tutor you. So that's habit two. Next is habit three. Habit three is putting first things first. That is the time when you have something more important. You do the thing that's more important before you do something fun. Like, for example, if you have a test tomorrow and you didn't study, that's a way that you don't think of habit three. If you're thinking of habit three, you should study first for the test. Then you could go and play outside with a ball. Habit four is think win-win. That's a time when you make sure everybody is equal and everybody feels fair, like the equality race. For example, if you have a chocolate box, and there's four friends, and one of them is you. I mean, there's three friends, and one of them is yourself. You want to share with them. So you can cut the chocolate bar into four pieces, or compromise and do something else, or eat something else. Like, you can eat pizza. That's habit four. Now is habit five. Habit five is seek first to understand, then to be understood. It's a time when somebody is talking, you're just not like not pretending to listen. You're not like, oh, I don't want to listen to you. You have to listen to them. So if they're asking you something or so, you could respond back to them. And you could say and add more to what they're talking about. For example, if I was having a conversation with my friend. So this is my fake friend. So I'm just going to say blah, 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 blah. So what my friend has to do is listen to me. Then I'm going to pretend to ask some body languages. Um, so what did I talk about? And then this, my friend, has to listen to what I just talked about and to add more to it. You can always use body language to show it by putting a smile on your face, giving a thumbs up, or nodding your face and telling them what you talked about. That's how you know habit five is being understood. Habit six is energy, synergize. That's a time when you work together as a team to build teamwork and accomplish or conquer a mission. For example, if you have a project that's due on next week and you really need a project and you have to work with your friends as you were assigned from your teachers, what you have to do is you just have to compromise all of your plans or combine it to make a project. If you don't agree, you could just pick another project and you could do a whole new project with all of your friends' ideas that are included. Seven. Habit seven is sharpen the saw. This is a time when you do something that your heart loves or something that your heart desires to do. It helps you inspire others to do it too. Like, for example, this is actually true about me. I love to do Taekwondo. So whenever I'm free or when I don't feel pretty good, I do Taekwondo so my heart gets sharpened. And that's an example of habit seven. Habit eight. Habit eight is a time when you use your voice and share a message to inspire others. For example, there's three, four parts of inspiring others. If you have something that you really like, for example, it has to do with your talent. Hmm, what is your talent? Taekwondo. So you put Taekwondo into the ball of what you like. 
Then you have to figure out a way of how to inspire others. That's a way maybe you could share your message around the whole world. And then maybe you have to find a way it can contribute. The way Taekwondo can contribute is it can defend yourself. And then the last part is that you should have a way that you make it fun. You could hire instructors and have fun games in Taekwondo to remember it. And that's habit A. Share all of these habits. You can become a positive leader and inspire the world to follow you as a role model. So habit one is be proactive. Habit two is I have is begin with the end in mind. Habit three is put first things first. Habit four is think win win. First to understand, then to be understood. Habit six is synergize. And habit seven is sharpen the saw. And what habit eight is, is share your message to inspire the world.